Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS transform property. CSS transform property allows you to transform an HTML element. Transform means translate, rotate, scale and skew. Translate means changing position. Rotate means changing orientation. Scale means changing size. Skew means changing slant. With the help of transform property, you can change the position, orientation, size and slant of an HTML element. This is a syntax. We write transform property colon. Then we write one or more transform functions. We have 1D transform functions. We have 2D transform functions. We have 3D transform functions. We also take help of perspective function to set the depth. If you want to transform an HTML element in one axis at a time, you take help of 1D transform functions. If you want to transform an HTML element in X and Y axis at a time, then you take help of 2D transform functions. If you want to transform an HTML element in all three axes, then you take help of 3D transform functions. Translate X, Translate Y and Translate Z functions help you in translating an HTML element in X, Y and Z axes independently. If you want to translate an HTML element in X and Y axes at a time, then you can take help of Translate function. If you want to translate an HTML element in all three axes at a time, then you can take help of Translate 3D function. While translating, X and Y values can be in pixels or percentage. Z must be in pixels. If you want to rotate an HTML element in X, Y and Z axes independently, then you can take help of rotate X, rotate Y and rotate Z functions. If you want to rotate around X and Y axes at a time, then you take help of rotate function. If you want to rotate an HTML element around X, Y and Z axes at a time, then you take help of rotate 3D function. X, Y, Z values must be in degrees. If you want to scale an HTML element in X axis, Y axis, Z axis independently, then you take help of scale X, scale Y, scale Z function. If you want to scale an HTML element in X, Y and Z axis at a time, then you take help of scale 3D function. X, Y and Z values must be in number. Skeeve X and Skeeve Y functions help you to skeeve an HTML element in X axis or Y axis independently. If you want to skeeve an HTML element in X and Y axis at a time, then you take help of skew function. X and Y values must be in degrees. We take help of perspective function to set the depth. Z should be in pixels. I hope you guys have clearly understood. In the next video tutorial, we'll have a demo and understand this transform property more clearly. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.